Support black charities. Elevate our community. Colt 45, yo, oh, Billy D. Bill, that's my guy. Billy D. Billy D. Yo, check it out. What's good, people? It's PK Ratcliffe here with BBL TV. We're at the Tropic Canada Community Services Center, and I'm here with the one and only Jay Martin. What up, what up, what up? Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> that's yours truly, Jay Martin, the Renaissance man. You know what? I say that in my tone, like as an intro, like it's me who gave it self-proclaimed, but it's not. Uh, I was at a show playing some piano, and they were like, wait, you play piano, you act, you sing, and I, I was dubbed the name. So I don't want to have your viewers feel that I'm so self-proclaimed. I was given the name J. Martin the Renaissance Man. Okay, come on, come on. Speak yeah. on that. Hold on, hold on. So do you yeah. dance too? I do. I dance. You know what I mean? As a, as a thick guy... You know, people want to see me move. Right. Um, I don't want to have to call in thick. I make sure that I show up to work slim. every day as as slim as I identify as. And uh, yeah, I like to dance. I like to drop some foot. Come on. Uh, my aspirations, to be honest with you, is to be a Jamaican skinny dance hall dancer. Those guys define MAGA. MAGA has a little sister named Miga. That's half of those dancers. And they move like, like, like I don't want to say fish because then it's some <laughs> kind of thing they, they say in Jamaica, like right. But the way they're like... <laughs> With 19 of them. Like, it's so... It's like... <laughs> In unison. <laughs> it's floetic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yo, listen. I came tonight and... And there's a lot of people here tonight. Mm. It's a great turnout. Yes. We had singers. We had performers. We had... Um, so many great entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. um, and a, such a great host. You did such a great wow. job, man. Appreciate that. Martin! Step around here. Everyone, how y'all doing tonight? Welcome to the Wakanda Experience. Let's give a round of applause for everyone to put that together. I love the idea. I love the name. I love everything about it. Listen, hosting this event tonight was was big for me. Mm -hmm. uh, as a as a performer, you get out on stage a lot, but tonight meant meant a lot more. Uh, I've seen the people that put this together, and black Cher black support black charity is a big deal because they're helping people around the world. Never, it's not often you get a chance to help people around the world. I have huge philanthropic efforts that I want to do with my life. I want when I leave this earth, there's things that go on and on and on. As black people, sometimes we leave the earth, all you hear is what hurts my heart is a GoFundMe. Do you know what I mean? I want to be the one that's GoFunding the world before I leave this earth. Oh, and this on is that. one way to have, have that opportunity to do that. So supporting black charities allows me to help people even beyond the time that I'm on earth. I want to make sure I leave a legacy and this is a great way. So to be able to host this was really good because this didn't have a crowd that, I do galas all the time. And people get dressed up and feel that when you get dressed up, you know what I mean? I've got to have a certain status quo. I can't enjoy myself. I've got to be, you know, the sure what I But this crowd looked so good, so sexy, mm. and was so ready to have a good time. You mentioned the singers that were there. The singer was dynamic. She spoke to them. She she came to them with her truth. She told you I was born in Jamaica, but I'd like the African accent. She was flowing between accents. She was being the real her. This audience allowed me to be the real me. And when you get to an audience that exchanges that type of energy with you, it's a win-win. So happy to be a part of this. And I mean, I'm a part of the team. And they made me feel like that from backstage to you guys to the food. Everybody made me feel special. So it made my work easy. Come on now. Yeah, Come you on, feel me on not that. Yeah, yeah. Let me in. <laughs> So hold up, hold up. What was the biggest thing that impacted you tonight? Uh, I think the biggest thing that impacted me tonight was just the ability for people to be wanting to give. Like giving, the, um, and he kept saying, I'm not used to asking, I'm used to giving. Mm -hmm. And it's contagious in the room. Like everybody wanted to give, everyone wanted to be a part, part of it. They had the best thing I think tonight for me, to be honest with you, was they have a tap machine. I've never mm -hmm. seen anything like this. So you could walk to the machine with your card and just tap it. Now the funny part is they had a $10 tap, they had a $20 tap, and then they jumped right up to $100. Mm -hmm. Now the way my bank account works, it doesn't allow me to transfer funds <laughs> above the $100, above $100 mark. Dollars. So 
I wanted to go up there, <laughs> but but my bank account said <laughs> uh, uh, check is in savings, and I had to stay in the middle. So I went on my tippy toes, pretending I went up there, and I'm like, my this machine might be radioactive. I tap out a hundred dollar out of my account, and I'm gonna say, yo, sir, I don't want to build a bounce. You know what I mean? So I went in the, I went like I was going to the top, and I tapped the middle. I'm not lying. That was the highlight of my my day because everyone watched me give it, and you know you don't want to hear transaction denied. <laughs> you are denied. You are rejected, sir. <laughs> Sorry, try again. Your card is Lower not good amount. here. Lower amount. <laughs> yeah, lower amount. But that was the highlight of my evening. But just having everybody there enjoying themselves, it made it great. It made yeah, it great. Yeah, come on, come on. What would you? What would be the message that you would like to share with people who are watching the program, watching this interview, about this event or events like this within our community? Um, just being be able to be a man of color mm -hmm. and being supported. Like tonight being honest with you I had a lot of people that came up to me Jay I've been a fan of your work and I've never been able to have the opportunity to speak to you and I'm like wow you never know who's watching so if I could say any message to you as an artist a performer anything you're doing have that passion people are watching you know what I mean and it's all not always negative they're watching because they they admire you from afar a lady came over to me and she's like I couldn't talk to you for years because I didn't have my life right. I'm like, of course you can talk to me. There's a human side to this, no matter how big we get in it. So the message I'd like to send to people is continue doing what you're doing because you never know who's watching, who's being captivated by what you do. Yeah, I kind of I kind of hear, <clears throat> hear what you're saying. Yeah, because um, me wake up this morning, I'm going to put on my hat, right? And wait, I come we'll in here. put on first? I, hold on there because I get up early. I come in here. And I dress up, you call me matching. Somebody grab red, blue, match, match with brown. I grab it like this. <laughs> I unify. I caramel chocolate. Hold on, hold on. I are car you don't have no brown on your shoe. You don't have it on your shirt. You don't have it on your shirt. You just grab it, bro, that. I are unison, man. I look like a candy bar. Yo. You see me? You see yeah. me? You see me? Me no see you. No raisin, you know. Just nuts. <laughs> Just nuts. <laughs> New guitar nuts. <laughs> Yo, PK, you the best. Y'all the best. Yo, yes, truly, J. Honestly, Martin. Appreciate Such a blessing, you. Appreciate man. you. Appreciate God you. God bless y'all. Check us out. Yo, BBL TV. Watch out now. Peace and no hair grease. Just blue magic. <laughs> I'm brown and red. <laughs>